I said Germany, right? Perfect. Yes. It's right by Germany. I said Hungary, Germany. It touches Germany. Denmark. I just don't understand how you can. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Time. There you go. Wait. Go for it. Play. Yep. We're no, good. we're good. We got it. We got it. And all the cameras <laughs> are going too? Yeah. Did you Dude. get your mic? Your mic should be good, you think? Joe's coming on. My face. It should be, it should <laughs> just do the same thing you did for everybody. I'm really upset that you still haven't gotten this. I'm, I'm bothered that I, I in my oh, mind, I feel I like you got it, 95% you know? of them. I'm thinking that I said it, and that's no, you blocking. didn't. You didn't. Say no, I, but I probably didn't. That's what I'm saying. But like in my mind, I did. Ah, oh, it is bothering me. It's right there. It touches Germany. There's so many though. That's that's their problem. <laughs> Polish. There you oh, go. David, I didn't Damn. Say no, I'm, you did I'm not. Significantly Polish. That's <laughs> no, the thing. I, I wanted God, to give yeah. it away, but I just assumed that I said it. That's the thing. I, was <laughs> right. like, I assumed I said Polish. So, well, the fact yeah. that we live in Bay City. It was just gonna be like that. potatoes. Pretty, potatoes. Bay City. Vodka. Just general. Can't fight a war. <laughs> Famine. <laughs> <laughs> Lack of athleticism. <laughs> Their problem is grow. geography. They got mountains yeah, and, yeah. and they got Germany and Russia and they both want to kill each other. They're in the <laughs> right. middle like, fuck. <laughs> I'm just Polish. I just want to harvest my potatoes and make them into vodka. And, <laughs> and they have weird ways of putting in light bulbs. Yeah. From what I've heard. Yeah. They, they what kind them. of fucking bullshit fact is that? <laughs> is that? <laughs> it, you know, how many Poluxes is, is taking that a light bulb? Oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. Ten. One to hold the light bulb. Yeah, it was weak. That was weak. No, was, I was hoping they actually delivery. did. Like, <laughs> like that was a Polish fun fact. just don't know how to fucking put it. <laughs> don't know how to screw in a light bulb. And it's not their fault. It's just in Poland, they have really weird light <laughs> And maybe they're better. Maybe they're just more advanced. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> Probably not. Their light bulbs last. <laughs> Forever. What the fuck? They're like one watt, but they last a really oh. long time. <laughs> well, I mean, it's super dim. Like, I'm, yeah, oh, I, I just assume. I mean, when you're in Poland at night, I feel like things are just dim, just they can't afford the power. So, yeah. Oh my god. It's just like, what if you go? Light. What if you go to Poland and you trick them with change? And you're like, uh, okay, five dollars is change. Like, and Trump like change no, or? no, I get ten dollars, and they're like, oh yeah, I'm so sorry, and then they give you ten dollars. They're just that dumb, and you can trick Cody, them. Cody, you'd fit in really well. Though. <laughs> I don't follow. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> no, I'm saying you're saying they're so dumb. You could trick them. Dude, people are not going to like this show already. We're ripping <laughs> on Polish ripping people. Up. Well, I'm a Polish. We're all so, Polish. I mean, yeah, it's, it, this is totally okay. This is, yeah. Who, you, not, yeah. who are you calling you people? Us. Us. <laughs> Solidarity. <laughs> Where's Joe? He's not going to come on. He's really? Like, yeah, he's going to hang out in the Zoom. What? That's too bad. It's okay. Joe! Come on Just my face. A little bit. will be all right. <sighs> Oh, wait, so are we rolling now? Yeah, we've been going. All right, welcome to... Uh, yeah, it's been three minutes. Welcome to our first casting couch. This is very nice. So why are we doing this? What are, what are we doing here? Well, because uh, who's supposed to come on today? We were going to have we were gonna have Voodoo, Booge and PJ. Oh, and then, yeah, then well, we wife's sick, kid's sick, something like that. And and an ice storm. So. Oh, the fucking ice storm. Yeah. <laughs> that was Which pretty was, gnarly last night. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was the, did you just go over the uh, bridges and see mm-hmm. the water at all? Uh, it was worse yesterday. I think. What's the water look like? It's coming mm-hmm. down now. It was really still. Oh. But yesterday it was like waves and right. really oh, high. Shit. I went over middle grounds and it was just like flooded. Yeah. Someone cut a bunch of trees by middle grounds by like Putz's side. And, and now that whole side is like eroded and I don't know why. It's yeah, they cut a bunch of trees. Because well, that's what happens when you cut trees down. Well, no, I mean, like, that's, I, I don't know why they would do that. Oh, you know? right, it's like, right, right. Unless they wanted to get rid of that chunk of the island. Like, we don't want well, this land anymore. Because <laughs> that's exactly what happened. Let's, yeah, like, let's just fade this away yeah, like, why, with the waves. Why was that area there in the first place? Middle, Middle ground. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just, a natural geologic yeah. formation. They didn't build that specifically for. God built that, dude. Oh. <laughs> It's a fucking island. What do you mean? I don't know. Sometimes they put weird shit out in the they middle of They just a, built a built a island. They did that with the what's the people in the desert that built a, a, a leaf Ab, uh, Abu Dhabi. Oh yeah. yeah. This they, was this probably that shit. This the, wasn't that. I don't. I don't <laughs> well, think, that's what maybe, I don't think Bay City has that kind of funding to just build a fucking. Middle <laughs> like in the ground. pioneer days. Like, <laughs> you know hey guys, what this place needs? 
island. Island in the middle of a river. <laughs> but it's that makes sense. <laughs> but this place <laughs> is great because of our river. It's really fast. The Let's prop- put an impediment there. <laughs> the <laughs> property the value would go up. We'll do a cool. We'll build the tallest building in Bay City in the middle of the river and make a big. It's pretty cool there. There are houses on the middle grounds. Oh yeah. yeah. You have to go. There's a bar. You gotta go out. Oh, there. San there. Scotty, Scotty Sand, Sand thing. Bar. There's yeah. a bunch yeah. of houses. There's a bands, bar. Ba- a bunch of bands play. I guess that place is fun to play. It's kind of cool. It looks like it was really fun back in the day, and now it's kind of still yeah. cool. It's that, there. It's, <laughs> that's where like that, it has uh, a stage, and it's it's pretty. It, it's one of those <coughs> memories of Bay City kind mm-hmm. of things. It's know? like a Castaways. Remember back in the '80s when we saw Chevy Checker at the <laughs> Castaways? Remember a, Bob Seger played there he once. Was, I swear. Bob Seger's <laughs> brother was there I when saw I was Bob there. Bob Seger weed there one time. <laughs> Got a little off track though. What the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> well, it started with Bay City and then went off. No, the shop man. We were going to do a, shop, a different podcast, and then that fell through, so now we're doing a, we're gonna was, do a was podcast. Broader, just opening. Broader. This is number one. This yeah. is this uno is numero. From the sound up, yep. in, in the shop. In the shop. Ran by JB Sound. <laughs> so I don't funny. know. It's just some, I can't take you seriously sometimes. You should never take no, me seriously. No, I never do. I know sometimes I do. But no, this... Uh, Max doesn't know this place like what it used to look like. No, like when it's you first amazing. came in here, it was still being cleaned up. But from even then, though, even so then, people that are watching, he's talking about the camera. shop, the, the room shop. we're in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to hit? Yeah. Turn it off I'm and uh, hit record. I'm gonna on. record that real quick. Yeah. No, you're good. <coughs> Figuring out kinks yet? Yeah, this is gonna be good. What's your kink, Cody? Um, I like it when cameras just record the whole time and not yeah. every half I hour. The- that's your kink? Yep, that turns me on. Oh. I like lady but boys. the camera turns off. You like lady boys? <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. I like how you slipped that right in there. <laughs> okay. So do the lady boys. <laughs> Max didn't acknowledge any of that. <laughs> so uh, Anyways, no, so yeah, this place was... I All the video that we've released, and we shot the video with James Cook, and then shot video with... Uh, well, we did Brax. You and Braxton were here to do the announcement video. Yeah, and then that went really well. Thank you for that. Yeah. What was saying? You broader. were direct. It was Austin was direct. I was like, directing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that I turned out great because we didn't know what the fuck we were okay. doing. I don't think he still do. I, we don't. Because no. we got It's got to be real. We it is real. Oh yeah. I, I want to do this for fucking money, <laughs> I'm real, man. I'm, I'm trying to make a buck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing real. this for fun. I ain't doing this for the experience. I'm doing this for fucking money. Oh, dollars. Isn't everybody doing something for money? Yeah. It's all a truth. Sucking dick. It's, but but I love it so much. Bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is it's funner. I ra- I would rather not get paid ever to do this or to play music or whatever than I would still. Now you're going well, back on yourself. But I'm no, saying, I'm like, just saying it was a joke. You it can't. But I'm saying like broader. What we want here. What are we What are we trying to do? We're We're trying to. We're trying to. What, what value are we gonna have? We're trying to make something cool. I mean, we're trying to make a podcast that helps people. That oh, helps I definitely. Us the, I definitely want this to help the other guys. Like when you're, you know. I've said that before. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, anytime, well, with Joe and Austin doing their own thing, and then we're doing this, it just creates a circle of helping each other at some level, yeah. you know? So that'd be great. Well, I mean, the shop is just like... I mean, this, the, yeah, when this, we first came in here, it just felt like it was a place that needed... To, yeah. A place that... People could come to create and whatever yeah. that may be. I mean, we got the wood shop, we got the studio. You guys are doing the the, mm-hmm. the podcast. I'm writing an album out of here. Yeah, I've been collecting instruments and all this shit just to put in here for anyone to come in and use and utilize. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I think well, it's just a space for creating, yeah. and that's what we're finding. You know, you're you're starting the sound up, and I think everyone else coming in here, and they'll have that same experience, yeah. you know. What did, uh, what did, what, who's the guy you brought in, James, or uh, Kyle? Kyle. And yeah. he came and played guitar. What yeah. did he think about it? Did, I, I mean, really I think that should be him. the whole, I mean, in my eyes, that's the whole point of the shop. It's, is yeah. just come in here. It doesn't yeah. matter what the hell you create. Just fucking create something. Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing, I mean, this is, you, know, I, you had the idea for this, and it was yeah. amazing. And I was like, but then you were like, let's go, you know, check out the shop. And then I came in here, and it was like, yep. Fucking right. Like, yeah. this is, this is it. You know? <laughs> Beer delivery. He's so <laughs> Marta's creeping in the background. She's hiding from the cameras. Oh. She's just yeah, rolling well, beers around. <laughs> Don't open that for a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Now I remember the first day we walked in here, and Matt was like, 
this is all yours. Like he was <laughs> like, yeah. it was like Aladdin when he walked into the tiger's mouth. And yeah. He's like, do not touch anything else. But the, what, what did he have to touch? The lamp. He had to get the lamp, but he yeah. wasn't allowed to touch anything. Except for this was opposite. This was like, touch everything. You're fine. Touch yeah. whatever well, the fuck you Well, when we first want. came in here, that was right after uh, the local mid-Michigan closed, and he went and cleared oh, out yeah, the basement, yeah, yeah. and there was just full of musical gear. And it was like, well, oh, shit. There is still stuff in here. Oh, yeah, all over the place. Is that is that how, what, what was the local mid-Michigan? What was it? It was a music shop. They had uh, guitars and all kinds of shit, and it shut down. How long were they in business for? Years. So they just he just had the wherewithal to just scoop up bunch of cool shit. I think he you just... You guys have been using it? <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of it. I mean, he, awesome. he just went over there, and they were like, yeah, clean out the basement, whatever you want, man. And we, I mean, he had speakers. There was a bunch of different shit. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it was parts. junk, but... And then he, we came in here. I don't know. It was a winner. I remember that, and it was just filled with... Because we were at Dave's house still. Yeah, we were practicing out there. After we, we dumped a bunch of money into Dave's garage. <laughs> How'd you meet Matt? And uh, because like, Joe met Amber. Yeah. And he came. He started coming to our shows. Such a true love story. And yeah, it really, Amber really is to him. Amber's his, his daughter. daughter. No kidding. Yeah, I had yeah, no so idea. Joe, Come on, man. Oh my god, he didn't. How would that. I know that? Like, <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that should have come up in conversation <laughs> had, at some point. I had absolutely no idea. We just thought you assumed, dude. That is bad. so cool. I had no fucking yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Joe met Amber, and then they were living here too. And they were living upstairs in the top apartment, and then. Over time, Matt would come to shows. We got became friends with Matt, blah, 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 blah. And then one day, he had us all come in here, and we opened up the doors. It was huh. filled with all this collected musical, sorry, collected musical stuff. And then we just, like, okay. And then we but moved then, in here. But there was a, a waiting period, because we had, we wanted to finish up shows. Wanted to finish up, I, I think it was right after Pop Evil's show, that that's when we, we literally packed everything to go play that show at for the bike week mm -hmm. thing, and then left West Branch came here and unloaded here, and right. then started tearing the place apart. And then for years it was just our pra practice place, yeah. that practice space. And then this last year it was like, after the band broke up, we we're like, well, we got to do something with this yeah. space. You yeah. know, I mean, we love the space. I think more than even the fucking band. Well, Joe, Joe definitely had like the spearheaded that. Yeah, he the, did. Yeah, Joe definitely spearheaded that. With Starting with the studio and all that shit, and then. No, it's just a place to create. But everybody um, kind of followed suit too, because it was like no one wants to see the space go to waste. Mm -hmm. The uh, definitely the heat did not. Is a really great addition too. Right, yeah, a whole month dude, Matt. The heat. Oh, the heat. The yeah. heat. Oh, yeah. You like, forget. You yeah. You didn't even <laughs> trust me. Man. Having heat in here. Let me, let me uh, be specific. You like, didn't. You did not feel the blue. The brutal pain. This place was like an ice. This box. thing was, yeah. especially. It was colder in here usually than it was yeah, outside. Yeah. It was better to go outside at some point in time. Just to, and then we had that. You remember the the blow torch the here? Yeah, that thing was great, but it just was not big enough. Still isn't. I don't. There's no way. Even with the curtains up now and everything, there's yeah. no way. And it's yeah, a little it would, chilly now, but like it's consistent oh, this heat. Is fine. In, in I put the heater down here actually. Too. Oh, did you? Oh, you guys got a fucking heater. Feeling that. We, we got other heaters over there. there I mean, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. another heater. That's the beauty of the shop. There's just everything. everything. Like, <laughs> right. It's like magic. Like, <laughs> you want a heater? There's like five. <laughs> right. <there. laughs> you need a hammer? We got like hammer. 12. <laughs> Six. They're all like one. You need like, a table saw? We got one, but it works. No, it's like Willy Wonka in here for creative people. I'm not creative, and I was, you know, was able to get a little bit out of this place. Yes, I can't imagine for people that are actually creative. Mm -hmm. like, it's, well, do. the table, the desk, I was like, yeah. the front face of this desk had all the, the wood was all like up on these back rafters. <coughs> and I just asked Matt, I was like, hey, can I use a couple pieces? And he's like, yep. Like just, there's these, yeah. when you get an idea, you're just able to jump right on mm -hmm. it yeah. here for some reason. Well, that, that, that was it. Because yeah. like, if we would have never said podcast again after the, the barbecue, like it would have yeah. been gone. Like it would have right. been a fun idea. Well, but, it like, was gone for you. But like, yeah, yeah. Because I literally we it talked really about was. it a I, month. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Hey, I got a desk. And then a yeah. few weeks later, I'm like, hey, I built a desk, man. I built the desk. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? What do you build a desk for? That's cool. Is it for your house? 
was like, no, but like, I thought we were doing like a podcast you gotta, still. Like, go to Ikea? Like, that's <laughs> <neat. you? laughs> like, they're pretty easy to do. Like, yeah, that's, that's awesome, stumble man. Stumble through it. They don't have instructions, yeah. words, but the pictures are pretty good. <laughs> oh, did you get on clearance? Or? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Desk, yeah. But no, I mean, like, but, but this hat place was able to take your initial spark and make it this, which made yeah. the rest of it real. Right. It's I mean, essentially an incubator in here for yeah. any fucking idea that you have. You creative know? people mm-hmm. to do... That's amazing. I had no idea about the, the Joe connection because I never actually asked I like the question like, "Hey, how do you guys have like full access to this thing all I the think, time?" I think at this point, it, we just assume everyone knows that Joe and Amber. Are, yeah. Well, I, we assume everyone knows Aunt Matt is Amber's dad. Yep. I thought no that idea. was how though, but I've known you for like four I years. I don't five probe. Years. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> are you sure you don't probe? <laughs> I don't. I probe. Yeah. I you, mean, your butthole. We can. We, we can talk about that. I but, thought this was a casting <laughs> couch. <laughs> Get to that. Yeah. Oh they will goodness. be probing, but but no. I mean, like, I, I mean, that's that's. Uh, I'm, I'm an I'm an outsider for a lot of this. I mean, this is kind of your. It's kind of nice. Your thing, you know. So it, like, you rejuvenate the questions that everybody asks. Like you, you're walking in here without any. Preconce- you have no. no idea what's going on. You just walked in here and was like, whoa. This is amazing. It's going to be a good feeling when all the other bands walk in here to record with Joe right. or to do the podcast mm-hmm. or whatever. It's going to be really cool to get all the reactions. I'm excited to see what happens this year with just everything that's going on. All the on. stuff I mean, going on. Yeah. I'm releasing an album. Joe's really kicking it with Do you plan on doing that this year? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you, I have, I, it's, I'm planning on having it done by the end of March. How's the process for that? Like, how, how are you... Do you have a process, and if so, where are you on it? Like, because I have no. Ne- and this is, gets process. back to the thing. I have no fucking idea. Right. I've never wrote uh, anything. I write spreadsheets. Like, I'm <laughs> like, right. I have no idea okay, what that takes. Max, yeah. think about a spreadsheet without any of the lines, and then a bunch of dyslexia in there. That's yeah. what we're right reading a song. Right here. Like, this is how you write an album. It. You just have a fucking bunch well, of notes. that's good because you <laughs> had a the bunch book of bullshit that you don't the, make the, none, the, no the sense. The notepad to yeah. keep all this organized, mm-hmm. which was amazing. I mean, like, so, you know, there, and, that, it works. Okay, do you ever find it? I find it really, really better to write it down in a notebook. Man, I am <laughs> oh, stuffy yeah. as shit. No, I, I write everything down. I yeah, write But no, versus long. your phone. Because Max. No, I never use my phone. Max, you t- you're using a spreadsheet and shit. Yeah. I can't do that. I It's too fake. For my <laughs> well, the like, thing is, if you were to open this notebook and you were to try to read through it, it wouldn't make any damn sense yeah, to right. you. Right, it makes sense to me. I mean, I can interpret it obviously. Exactly. Yeah, my, you read my notes. It's or it seems organized, but everyone's like, "Well, you misspelled sixty <laughs> fucking words." Like, what do you? It's like it doesn't matter. I, I just I remember what it means. Right. Yeah, writing a notebook. It's so not like much always more. sunny. Like when uh, <laughs> when, when, when Charlie's writing like his notebook and it's just pictures, <laughs> right. like the hey. night man. Or whatever <laughs> works for you. Yeah, it, it works hey, though, right? Like, he had a whole musical on it. <laughs> so yeah, that's my. Pr- I just write a bunch of shit, and eventually, hopefully, something comes together. So, and it's working. So, is it a, a message you're trying to convey, or just kind of for the whole album? No, I don't think so. This is the first one you've written by yourself, though, because yes. it was the Crooked Trees, and yep. then Drift Lifted, and yep. then now this is all you. Yep. All all the instruments too. Everything. Yep. And then Joe's help recording. And yeah, besides mixing the and mastering. Process. Yeah. That's strange. JB. JB so. Boom, boom. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. If we, had, <laughs> if we had Joe on here and he's listening right now, we could ask him about his quadratic diffusers. Quadratic diffusers. That are, that are bouncing off of his sound waves right now. That are bouncing off our brains. Just And he's and directing them in yeah. like this mad scientist way. He is a mad scientist. It's pretty weird <coughs> that when he was talking about it. If he was out here, we could know more. But. That's okay. We'll let, him, we'll let him do his thing. That's cool. So they were cool, though. They, they, I had never thought about well that's a, that's the other thing though is i i think joe said it to me if well maybe he didn't say maybe i'm thinking of it but it makes sense because if this shop wasn't around that wouldn't be happening that wouldn't be happening mm-hmm. yeah. not not maybe it would have maybe it would have but joe would have had a oh, it makes it so convenient you know <laughs> it would have been like a lot desk, harder to do right. yeah the desk would have never been do built it. It, it's i would have found a desk and we'd have been sitting around a, a yep. regular table mm-hmm. versus making something that's super unique and has its own mm-hmm. uh own no, this shop has spawned so many things. It's a straight up incubator for yeah. anyone who's creative, and it, I don't. That's why I'm living here now because it's like I can walk right out my back door and write anytime. That was nice. At one point in time, I lived in the basement. Uh, then Joe lived on the very top floor. Then I moved out. Joe moved out. Then Spencer moved in. Yeah. And then Spencer moved out, and Austin moved in. We've all lived in this building just at different times. <laughs> right. It's like, the dream was all to live there at the yeah, same time. Yeah, at some That's point, we could never coordinate. <laughs> you 
Yeah, Dave was the only one. But then we actually at Dave's house, it was kind of like that. We all li- we, we all lived at Dave's. I was the one who was supposed to pay rent, <laughs> but <laughs> I was the one who legitimately had a room that was like that's Cody's room, and then it was just chaos. I just feel like that was such a blur in my life it living was, at it Dave's. It was a blur. I don't How remember. long did I live there? Did I live there? <laughs> How long did I live there? Uh, three days a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For four years. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you were living in Mount Pleasant, too. That's right. And then so you drive out on Sundays and then leave on Wednesday night. <laughs> yep. Do whatever dumb job you had. Come back Saturday night, Saturday morning. Oh, no. Sometimes it was weeks on end because we'd have shows Friday, Saturday, practice Sunday, and it was no point in you leaving. Right. And you just would stay there. We should talk about your, your band. What part of it? Just just what it is. Oh, that's kind of that's part of it. It's part of it's part of the shop. It's part of the yeah. Ambience. Yeah, I mean that's how it all started for yeah. sure. That's definitely how it all started. I'm I'm just trying to think back now to w- when did we first practiced. No, it because we were we were starting to write the album, and so after that show at Bike Week, that was like a big payday for us. So I remember moving all the stuff in here. And then it was that summer we started working on the mm-hmm. album. Uh, Get it together. Re, uh, rewriting the songs we already had, reworking on them. Um, but that was all started here. So those songs were, I guess, kind of written at Dave's house. A lot of them, But yeah. then When the Smoke Clears was written here for sure. But uh, then it all kind of transitioned here. And that helped, I think. That helped a lot because it was a new space. There was no negative shit mm-hmm. going on at the time. It was all brand new to us. We were super stoked. And we can say this now. Dana wasn't here. Yeah, now we can say that. Sorry, yeah, that's Dana. A, <laughs> not no, really not, though. Not really. Sorry. <laughs> She's never gonna listen to this. I doubt it. Who knows? <clears throat> but yeah, then we moved in here and struggled for a long time as a band, and then we all called it. We were like, all right, time to move on to greener pastures. And then we called it a second time. <laughs> and a third time. <laughs> and a third time, right? We have relationship issues. <laughs> <laughs> commitment issues. We commitment issues. That's what it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're still. What? It... I was telling Dave this. It still feels like, and I was telling Joe this. We're in the same office space, but in, in different cubicles. Right. You know what I mean? Because I'll literally be here working on the desk or the mics or whatever. Austin's writing a song. Joe's working on his sound panels oh. or, or working on something. And it's kind of like we're all still together, but we're not. It's kind of strange. Because yeah. uh, me, Austin, and Joe, I would consider the original three. Right. Well, yeah. Dave, but well, I mean, you Austin's guys, the one like, who changed the dynamic of it when we started playing. So it as kind of an outsider too. Like you guys actually played music that was good that you wrote, which was neat because everyone else was playing Journey. At right. you know, two AM. Yeah, the cover and bands. It was kind of refreshing to have an actual band playing music that was nice right. to listen to. It was not the same thing you always hear. And like We did well for a while. Yeah. I mean we missed there was some missed opportunities. There was a lot of, you yeah. know, uh, chances, but it just that it didn't play out that way. And I think probably for the better, I'd probably be dead at this point if it did, but you know. <laughs> yeah, there's some hectic times, scary times. But yeah, you might have been in some type of medical issue right now. <laughs> Actually, it wouldn't we, be medical; it'd be a heroin addiction. I mean, if we, if that's no, no, to the point. We'd, <laughs> we'd, we'd all be, we'd all probably be paraplegic because of that van. If oh, we kept God. playing, you imagine if we were a band right How now. How did we never get in an accident? Exactly. in that fucking van. Dude. And that the front, we died. the front left tire wasn't really connected to the frame. Like at some point in time, it, it was cockeyed, and you could just feel it. You're driving, goes kink. When you turn, and you're like, yeah, don't turn left too hard. Because <laughs> if you do, the whole van's going to I'm surprised the thing just never split in half and we all died on the highway. That too. I remember the guy, when I got the starter fixed, and the guy was like... Uh, You've been towing a trailer with this? Well, no, he's like, uh, you, you drive this often? And I was like, nah. <laughs> just I said, every weekend. Yep. Just, <laughs> uh, we, or no, he... he Long said, distances. He, no, yeah. that's what it was. He said, do you, you don't take this far, do you? And I was like, nah. I said, I drive around town once in a while. That's all. Because I knew he was going to be like, I can't let you take this vehicle. <laughs> the, the starter on it, you know, the casing on the starter, um, he showed me and he's like, yeah, when's the last time you get your starter replaced? I was like, never. And the, it was split in half. And somehow for, 
Those many years that we had the van, we never changed a starter. We changed the batteries. The magic of music. Oh, yeah. that It was like Puff the Magic Dragon. It was just, you know, you're flying on the highway on a rainbow highway. And it's What's just, it doing now? Uh, it yeah. got auctioned off. <laughs> For two hundred dollars, I would have bought wow. that damn thing, dude. You know just what? to have it, like, <laughs> yeah. set it in the back you know, and have a little chill spot. Like. You know, you know, uh, American Pickers. Yeah, they found Aerosmith's van, original right. van. Yeah. How cool would it be that that Roy Vogelar ends up in some fucking farm out in the thumb somewhere, and American Pickers finds it, and for some reason, Drift Lifted album is huge in Brazil. Right, and yeah, becomes yeah. A, South a, Africa. Yeah, and we we're all seventy years old, and we have to get back together just to do a. <laughs> A South tour. African tour. <laughs> I'm huge in Africa. Yeah. Not many white people can say that. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, that's the innuendo. Innuendo. In, in in Did I say that wrong? Innuendo. Innuendo. In, in innuendo. Right, you I'm go pee. It. Okay. In the pee. In the bucket. In the bucket. I cleaned. I. It's all. F- it's cleaned. We out. have the reverberators or the fusers. Reverberators. Right yeah. Reverber. <laughs> rever- reverberators. Rever- oh my goodness. Nice. Yeah, we that's something. What Austin's about to do right now. Well, Austin's. Oh, well, it depends. If he goes outside, I understand. Okay. But I did clean it out. It is empty. Are we fresh? It's it's completely. We're pretty fresh. Yeah. At the moment, we need plumbing, dude. We got to figure out plumbing. Yeah. We got an electrician friend. We have. We need a plumber. If you're a plumber in the Bay City. Yeah. Michigan any plumbers area. in the Bay City area, uh, for come on the show. do it for free, and we'll have you on the show and talk about Tell your us business. All for your you. plumbing emergencies and shenanigans and anything plumbers enjoy. <laughs> what do you think plumbers enjoy doing? I don't know. <laughs> like, what would be a good plumbing story? Like, uh, well, this one time I was cleaning out a shitter and it exploded or something like if someone dropped i i actually did i did plumbing for a while where when i worked at the design place and uh they saved the gerbil with uh marta's dad actually oh really he bought this uh it was like a 150 room apartment building Austin, can you crank that up like one crank this one yeah on the tripod let's just see if we on the other side the, the, that the yeah actual crank let's just see if that does anything yeah that should work good i mean i keep leaning out of focus yeah, that's better. I think that's better. I just, I think I need to get, get, get tighter. Well, no, I need to get tighter, if anything. Yeah. Like yeah, that's this. better. That's better. Just watch your elbow. Well, the thing is, like, I, I feel like, as opposed to most radio and, you know, film studios or whatever We have else, endless we options. We have a ton of space. <laughs> like, yeah. Very true. Uh, Z93, actually, when we went on there. Uh-huh. We never been in there before, and when we got in there, it was like, "What? This is where you do the show?" All right? What was the like, Dude, the, the desk <coughs> took the, up most of the room. Yeah, the desk took up most of the room, and it was super. It was pretty thin, actually. It was like half the width of this desk. And then uh, Lynn Roberts had um, her little thing, and then there's areas for us to sit down. I had to play drums off in the corner, which was pretty small as well. Not even just that, but a lot of the local area, like local recording studios, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. not to bash on them at all, but I mean, because they do some great work around here, but a lot, most of the studios around here are they're in a small. basement or in someone's garage and they're like, yeah. you know, yeah. a 10 by 10 area. You don't have a bad scientist, you know, right. the diffuser, mobile yeah. diffusers everywhere. And yeah, we're, we're blessed with a big <laughs> space for sure. And right? we've, re- we've recorded at all those too. There is a difference. You can, when you have a big room, it just feels better. Yeah. I, well, for me personally, yeah. I don't know about everybody else, but I loved when I was at playing drums and you just have this big room to just, you're just beating on them. And you can, I don't know. Sounds different. Yeah. Well, and you can record live in here and, you know, yeah. I mean. A lot of studios, you, yeah, you got to play everyone piece by piece by piece yeah. rather than being able to play it all at once, mm-hmm. which... Yeah. But then also with what Joe made there, now yeah, he can yeah. separate people so that way there's less... I don't... What Max doesn't features? know too much about... I don't know shit about the fuck. Recording, I but... <laughs> I don't know shit about fuck. <laughs> but yeah, it's... There's so many opportunities in this room. Right. And I'm ex- like I said, I'm excited to see what happens in 2020 with all this growth and... Yeah. You know, Joe and his panels and me and the album and you guys on your podcast yep. and the people that are going to be coming in here, especially. Right. That was the, That's the uh, biggest thing, because instead of, and I don't like, okay, Sweet Pea's coming in, shout yep. out to Sweet Pea, shout out to Dr. Daisy, and the Mud Sons. Mm-hmm. Those three bands alone. Speaking of Mud Sons, your uh, new EP's killer as hell. I've been listening to it all week. Oh, I didn't fuck. Oh, man. 
Maybe oh. you should include that in your podcast. Oh, shit. I didn't know they came out with a new yeah, EP. Dropped it, dropped it a couple weeks ago. How many three songs, tracks? Three song EP. Three song. We got everything on Spotify and all that shit. Which now. one? Sh- Mud, Mud Sons. Sons. Mud Sons. Oh, mm-hmm. man. Okay. The Mud Sons are probably our closest. No. What do you Trace say? Trace the Lime. Trace the Lime and Mud Sons would be equally as close of friendship, vet, like friendship band, band friendship. To the shop. Yeah. And like, yeah. To, like, after, before Sweet Pea moved, or uh, I'm sorry, Trace the Lime moved to Texas, mm-hmm. it was. Anytime we had a show, it was either Trace of Lime or Mud Sons. Yep. And if they couldn't do it, and then it was Splendor Solace, which is now Sweet Pea, mm-hmm. which Splendor I was going to ask Solace them about. But so that I would say those three bands, that's whoever we called on. It was like, hey, you guys can do it. Okay, we'll get the Mud Sons. Mud Sons can do it. Okay. And then vice versa. We just share, share shows. That was like a really good group of family. There's actually a picture of the last time we played with Trace of Lime before. Um, in Detroit. In Detroit at, it's now the Sanctuary, but now it's... It was Paychecks. It was Paychecks. You remember? Yeah, it was Labor Day. Paychecks. Austin had to do sound because... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I blew their sound system. But, you know, they, 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 that's they why, that's why they later. changed the name, because they had to buy all new shit. <laughs> Dude, I've walked in that place, and there's just fucking all these sound panels and, like, fucking receivers and fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing I figured it out within like a matter of two hours was but, this the one in Hamtramck yeah yeah, you, exactly. you were there yeah. you were yeah, there yeah, I was there and it was it, yeah, that's I'm the day I'm almost certain I blew the shit out yeah. of the system <laughs> yeah because the but, the but but Paycheck the owner he's like you're doing a great job man uh, he wanted to hire me after yeah. that. he's like oh. you, you do a great you do a better job I'm like <laughs> yeah because I probably blew the shit out of your system dude but it's cool it sounded good <laughs> it's it awesome right. yeah yeah you that was it up that was a bad that wasn't our best show that you've seen. You but played seen really us. well. Like, I mean, every us. band was sounded great, but yeah, there's just I guess maybe it's our own thing that well we can tell we, it, we can tell when we do a bad show better really? than anyone else. Can. I don't know. It's it, to me. I'm I'm a fucking noob. It was right. like yeah, music right. sounds cool. Yeah, like, yeah. I it can't good. play that good. What was that? That was a can that I just kicked over because it's empty. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I gotta fix my hair. Ooh. But yeah, I, th- I thought again. I, I thought it sounded good. Right. But yeah. Well, like and that's what I was saying to him is like when you're in a band like that, you're gonna be your own worst critic. That's with yeah. anything, you know. And we could notice when we fucked up two yeah. notes, whereas people in the crowd aren't gonna even just can, drink in. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. Fucking drunk, half the people yeah. aren't drunk. That's the only <laughs> reason people like drift lifting. And dude. sometimes we were drunk, so that's why we like drift lifting. <laughs> Crowd will only like you if they're really fucking drunk. Yeah. See, Cage Elephant, that's, that's who Sweet Pea reminds me of. Cage Elephant. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty, they, they actually started with Sweet Pea, so I'm trying to, like, research everyone that's coming mm-hmm. on. I've just been, like, listening to them and stuff. Very chill. I like it. it it's it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. I like the Have music. you listened to Mud Sons at all? I have not got to Mud Sons yet. I've just been stuck with, with Sweet Pea first. Mud Sons had, <laughs> I'm going to talk to this, I'm going to talk to him about this, too. They had, uh, when I was at Delta, I... I was in the e- EMB program. I had to edit a, vi- a music video, oh. like create a music video to whatever soundtrack. Nice. Well, I didn't know the Mud Sons yet, but I, I got footage from my buddy who did, and I just stole the footage, <laughs> uh, stole their music, and then made a. <laughs> I made it the night before I had to go to school. And so I just hung out a camera out the back of uh, the side of my car. Keep going. I just am trying to get a beer from Marta. Oh, trying. <laughs> trying to get a beer from Marta. Well, you Keep can going. walk We're away from bitch. that. You I can, could. No, yeah. I, I want to hear your story. Hey, beer bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll hold it off. We have, for everyone, anyone listening, we have uh, Cody's. The uh, wonderful, amazing, beautiful mother Marza. of my two children, Marta Rosnow. Marta. <laughs> Marta. There's only two beers left? Oh, wow. How How you, didn't you just show up with a 12 pack? Well, three. I so, wow. yeah. drank none. Because I'm being sober today. Yeah, like one. I know. Because last podcast we did, no, I was just, far too intoxicated. Oh, Cody's got it. Go. You guys aren't that famous that Bush Light's going to give a shit. I don't know. No, <laughs> and you know, it's, I don't want to. Again. But I want, I want to. We're doing it by the book. All right. Whatever must by be. By the done. bush. By the bush. <laughs> As they, uh, but you know, speaking of Mud Sons, you know, I fucking knew them since I was like 16. Because we played with them in the Crooked Trees years and years ago at some stupid-ass battle of the bands. Did they win? Mm, they might have won that. That might have... Yeah, that paid for their first album. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember Chad talking about that. Well, yeah. How much do you think? Or would that, would that be? Not much. It was, how much is was it the Pontiac album? thing? Like, Cause yeah, because we, yeah, we won that one. Yeah. When we were together. Um, 
They actually, there was a a uh, the riverboat thing, Chesapeake riverboat showboat, Chesapeake showboat. We won that, and we were supposed to win a thousand dollars, and then open up for like Theory of a Dead Man and it was stuff. Theory of a Dead Man and Puddle of Mud. Yeah, that was your first kind of that breakout was our big, thing. Yeah, was but big. that was one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a chance, but that was the year that they went bankrupt. Well, that was oh. no, that was yeah, a year. I, was say, I haven't heard from them in a while. <laughs> they took, they took no, no the the show that put all this on. Uh-huh. So we won that. A week later, we found out that yeah. this guy had embezzled all the money, and there was no money to pay the bands or anything. So we never it's actually got to open up for any of it. That's, yeah, that's like but we got nuts. a ton of news press. I got to go on TV Five. I got to. They messaged me on Facebook because I I made one small comment. I was like, "Yeah, we're the band that won. We we're supposed to play." Oh. Didn't think anything of it. Woke up, hungover, to like a. Long, like a big, like when something goes viral, Go it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's TV5 going, oh, where are you? We'd like to talk to you, blah, 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 blah. So I had to meet him at Chesney, and then I got to be on TV for a little bit. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, and then, and then the work. kind of kept going. The best, yeah, then it kind of, I don't know, that helped in a way. But uh, could have been a good break if that didn't happen. But. If that didn't happen, but it, yeah. But the funniest part is, is on live TV, I said, bring your ticket from the showboat and come to Hamilton Street Pub. We'll oh, give you yeah. a dollar off. I didn't say shit to <laughs> Hamilton Street. <laughs> and so people were showing up to the pub. I didn't get a dollar off. Well, they started doing They were like, okay, well, we'll just yeah, do yeah. it. Because they, they did realize, but the, the uh, not the owner, which is, he doesn't work there anymore, Mike Moody. Mm-hmm. He said, Cody, if you ever do anything like that again, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> he's, he's a big motherfucker. He's a giant dude. He was like 6'5", 2 something, whatever, you know, big dude. It was a busy ass show, though. I it mean, was, they made it was packed because everyone's like, well, oh, we were going to see this band play yeah. and we already bought tickets. Might as well go get a dollar. You know, it's my, <laughs> instead of five bucks, it's. Yeah, it's, they didn't get any refund off their tickets either, did they? Any of those people? I crazy. think, yeah, I don't think they did. I think they gave, like, they changed PBR to a dollar for anybody who had a ticket. I think that's what they end up doing mm-hmm. because. There's so many people walking into the door, and they could <laughs> You want to change? You got to hit your camera again. Oh shit! But that was a great way to kind of seize the moment. Yeah, yeah but next time I'll ask permission. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I, actually, I didn't know it was live neither. I thought they were just pre-recording, but they had the big van and everything and the tower up. I didn't know. I didn't realize that they're going live. So I was like, okay, <coughs> I'll uh, I'll just spout this out here. Yeah. Talk to Hamilton Street Pub, and then never got around to it, and then. <laughs> <laughs> they were watching on TV going, oh, shit. What the fuck? What the- <laughs> God damn it, he's cutting what into our profits. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that was a great, he seized the moment. Like, yeah. yeah. We had a couple of good season moments, but yeah. this this building was one of them. Yeah. This that is, was one of them. This was a grab. Uh, the Temper Mill was a great discovery in my eyes. Mm-hmm. That's the that's where we recorded the album. In, What's that? Uh, it's a studio in Detroit. Shout out to Mud Sons t- just shotgun to- well. Rifle Tony. Rifle Tony. That's not his real name, but he'll that know. Our, that was the engineer. Yeah, engineer. We I think how many how many we were on like the last two days of recording and we found out he smoked weed. Or Yeah. Because there was times when Joe and Spencer would like walk outside, go uh-huh. smoke, you know, and come back. And then Tony was like, Oh, yeah, I gotta go know. somewhere real yeah. quick and go smoke <laughs> and come back. And it was like the last day they're like, Oh, you smoke? Oh dude, we could have been taking breaks at the same yeah. time. <laughs> Is your Austin? Is your camera still going? I think so. Okay, just making sure. Looks like it. I got a big empty couch next to me, Marta. If you want to come join me. Yeah, you got the shirt on. <laughs> hey, they have merch, guys. From I Sound did. Up merch. I, I got so I got a bunch of merch, and I, me and Ashley didn't get any. I don't know where where everything's floating around. You didn't end up with any I of your own merch. I didn't end up getting any merch. It's at my house. Okay. I got a t-shirt. Well, good. I just want to know that it's somewhere. Yeah. I just no. Know. Well. Austin a t-shirt because he's at the bar. Okay. So when he That's wears it awesome. at the bar, it's nice. Are people saying? That I haven't worn it to the bar yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Great story, <Okay>. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I was like taking a Who else there. has a shirt? What are they doing with it? <laughs> right. here? What, is it what is Joe doing with his shirt? <laughs> <laughs> I thought babysitting. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah. Marta's sister in California. <laughs> she, good. Hey, she's wearing it in California. Word. Which is good because all those California kids are into fucking podcasts and shit. That's and good. like electrical cars. and. Well, that's the I mean, they, they have to no, be emotion. not using they straws. Have, I want them to be used, you know. Right. I just didn't. I just don't know what, what's happening. Well, well we, we still I'm, got I'm going to be completely honest. I'm a shit show and it's still in my car. Oh. But I just have to put it on. You just know? put it on. Yeah, yeah just put it on. Do you work tonight? Do you got to work tonight? No. 
No, you don't. But I'm going to be drinking tonight, so maybe I'll uh, just stumble around. Might be, it might, yeah, it might be, it might be a little puke. So guys, hear the drift, Richard. So, a, I mean, sound up, drift with it. I mean, sound up. Austin Stone, sound, sound, sound up. up. Austin Stone, sound up. It's good. It sounds up. In Austin-y. That's good. It'll be a good that's first fine. impression for a lot of people. Yeah, that's about good. Our show. <laughs> you know what would be cool? We could at the bar. I wonder if we could live stream to the bar. And sure like on could. the TV, we have to figure oh, out. that'd be oh, fun. Oh, live right to this. Like, yeah. what, what's going on? At the no bar? one gives like, a shit about you there. Mm, yeah, but it'd be funny because because <laughs> if we if they don't know if they don't know we could see them, we could be like, How hey, would we see them. Who's that stupid fuck sitting in the the chair over there playing that gambling game? Look at you. Cody, hey, turn around. Stop touching your fucking mic stand. I can't help it. Dude. My hand is. I don't know. I don't know hand. what to do with my hand. Keep holding it because I keep adjusting it because it. Might yeah, I know hurt. it's making noise. My back hurts so. This is a work in progress, everybody. Yeah, we're we're learning. We're learning every day. We're learning. It's fine. We got the couch though. That the couch, is, the couch. was the best. Thing couch we is did a way so better far. thing, huh? How yeah. does it feel over there? Because we had two like I'm comfy as shit. Like, yeah, lawn chairs basically before. Well, we had the chair that she's sitting on. Yeah, <coughs> and we had okay. another and then chair we had that one, which was not okay. No, but it looks small it looks awesome, too. But when uh, when Sweet Pea comes on, they're gonna have four, okay. like we talked about, and then. Uh, Dr. Daisy is going to have three. Three? Okay. Ian, well, months we could get three chatting. on that couch. Uh, Chad and Cole, for sure. Kevin still lives in Detroit, so mm -hmm. I don't know. If we can get Joe with, like, the microphone that you, well, maybe something better than the one you had at our, our first dry run. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that, yeah. the Piece one right there? Shit. Oh, yeah. wherever it is. Yeah. B57, B57. Yeah. Well, maybe that worked. I, I don't know. It looked a little ridiculous, but. What the the one? Are you talking? Oh, about are this? you talking about the the classic? Yeah, yeah. Life? You had the, oh, we all had like yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. That that thing. Well, no. What I was gonna tell them is to like we're not. I already told them. I was like we're set up for four people okay. total, because we have the couch and the way the table's set yeah. up. Those mics can kind of swing here and there if something, you know, if they really have something. But it'll pick up kind of nuances, yeah. laughter or whatever. But if they really want to say something, yeah. No, I mean, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I just don't want. Like, take away what happened last time with one camera. First of all, that was screwy. Yeah. And then we didn't really have... We were all crammed up here on the table. We had, what, six people on the table? I yeah. Think? It was Tony, seven. Max, me, Dave, Joe, and, and Austin. All, well, I was way too tuned Yeah, six people at the table. <laughs> A little tuned up. <laughs> Fucking plastic. Yeah. And we were all around the table. Yeah, we, were, we were like passing around a GoPro. That was the first. Yeah, that was. So we got a better setup now. Yeah, now it feels sure. way more natural too. Yeah. Especially well, with all the lights. figured out with all these podcasts. Well, that was the point. Too. It was yeah. to learn. You right. know, it's like, hey, we have nothing and no idea what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm actually super happy we, we did the first one with you because we know you so well. Like, I, he knows uh, the truck guys better right. than I do, right, but right. Yeah. we both know you. And it kind of feels good because we can talk about stories. And I'll make you feel good. Yeah, you always do. Your booty feel good. We have a different relationship. Yeah. Well, we were gonna have. Can, uh, <laughs> did, were you here when we actually did our? I can't remember when we did our. When the first big truck intro. was here. No, I no. was not here. I was not here Shit. with the truck guys. So my buddy, so uh, Justin, we call him Booge. Um, his his family owns a car uh, car customization. I'm butchering it, but basically they make anything look fucking amazing. Right. Right. So they lift trucks. They yeah. whatever. So. Um, when I was talking to my buddy James, who, who did the, the trailer for us, I said, yeah, I'm just going to try to get stuff. You know, I was like, the shop is amazing. And, and I just called Booch. I'm like, if you're around, bring something. Mm -hmm. So he brought a literal monster truck. Yeah. Like I saw you, it. You on, saw it on the thing. In the, like in the an promo. actual monster truck. And PJ brought like a half monster truck. Um, and, and PJ is another good friend of mine. He's, he's, uh, works, works for, for Voodoo as well. Right. But, uh, but well, yeah. So, one's, one's the son of the the guy who yep. owned it, one's a friend of his. Right. And they, yeah, Todd one. is the uh, Justin Booge's dad, um, and that's uh, he started the, the company. And then um, Booge is his son, and then PJ has worked with them forever. And Booge is actually uh, Booge's sister is married to PJ, which is, which is kind right. of funny too. So I mean, it's their family. <laughs> well, that was all who's supposed to be here today, right? Yep. Yeah. But but kind of fell through, which is fine. We'll have them on okay, a different losers. show. They this. are bringing <laughs> they're bringing a flamethrower. <laughs> Um, oh, which would be kind of fun. Um, so we were thinking about what if uh, I was. I'm gonna. I talked to Miles a little bit yesterday too, at uh, Maylene's birthday party, oh, yeah. and he said he thinks he could cut out not metal but wood. Cut out the wood. He'll cut out the wood uh, design from the sound up, 
and it, hopefully it's snowing uh-huh. where we can bury it in the torso of the snowman oh. and then melt it and then from the sound up thing is just in there with oh, the flame like use that as a with the flamethrower yeah it's like a it's pro, made out of propane. So, the thing. for it's anyone not, who's not listening, even that there will be a flamethrower yeah. at some point. We were also going to uh, take a guitar and fill it with firecrackers. <laughs> I, remember you, I remember that idea. I'm, yeah, I'm about six, idea. you know, years <laughs> and old. And a half. Mentally. Um, yeah. But oh, you get no, your driver's anything. permit next week. Yeah. I, s- I still play with fire things. I love it. Like, yeah. you still play with it. I don't know what it is. Well, it's just fun. Oh, yeah. It's the inner demons. It's fine. Yeah, just <laughs> burning them off. Crystal Palace, because you have to. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an inner demon. That's oh, like... Marta, you know what? Fuck it. Go get me some Crystal Palace. Let's get this party Crystal, started. Let's roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> because that was you a good have time. to. You know, you, at some point, you got to be able to cut that and throw it out there. And we'll, some we'll outtakes, and you know. We'll let it out. After this know. season, you got, you got the, the it gets outtakes. Dark, you know? <laughs> one day, we'll, we'll end on a high one day. We'll bring it back down with there's <laughs> some of that. <laughs> there's three minutes. How we started. Three minutes yeah. of it in the in the middle of it. You go, you ever get a scab snorting too much coke? <laughs> And that was when it was, that's when the that fucking roller coaster just went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it was just crazy town uh, ever since. Yeah. Yeah. It was cocaine. great. I mean, as a, a learning drug. experience. You know, if I would have had cocaine then, I would have been fine. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Fuck. And the fucking man, though, keeping us down, right? <laughs> that's right. Fight the power. Fight the power. We needed some cocaine. Well, yeah, maybe okay. we need some blow cane now. You know, there was, a, there was a documentary. I watched how they make it. And there's like these kids with weed whackers in this big box. What does a weed whacker have to do with cocaine? Because <laughs> they take the cocoa leaf, they take the cocoa leaf, <laughs> and they put it they put it in this big box. And then there's this kid going, cutting it all up with his bare feet. Like, dude, what? That kid must be with a weed whacker. With a weed whacker, but see, you're ta- I'm talking just the leaf. Yeah, and then well, that you're leaf talking the original still... coke. And then by the time it gets to us in Michigan, it's cut with like no, no. Clorox. Yeah. And... They... Here's your baking soda. <laughs> Do you high? You enjoying right. that? Yeah. A little aspirin, <laughs> diesel fuel, freaking anything you can think of. Water tastes like chemicals going down my throat. <laughs> it's but battery it just... acid. It is chemicals. <laughs> yes, battery acid. Yes, oh, yeah. they use battery acid. So then I'm wondering when I because I work at yeah. Interstate and I'm like, anytime battery acid gets on me, I'm like, am I gonna get Maybe high I'm right now? Just snort it. <laughs> It burns. It must be good. <laughs> Shit. This is good. This That's is good, pure. guys. And cocaine, though, it keeps following me around. Yeah. You know what? Down. You remember in, in school, Fuck. in school when you're like, you had the dare program, uh-huh. and they're telling, they're scaring the living shit out of you about all this stuff, and it didn't work. Well, no, Mo- most not. and then now weed's legal, mm. so then it's like, well, what did I spend my whole life? You should have told me about the harder trucks. You should have told me about told that me about shit. Booze. Or booze, yeah. But booze <laughs> well, is legal, so it, they are not going to... This is conspiracy theory time, but I've heard, I haven't fact-checked this, but the biggest like contributors to like the D.A.R.E. program mm-hmm. and all those things are the, were uh, alcohol <laughs> companies and tobacco oh. companies. Ah, because they want to draw a line that says, these are the good drugs, mm-hmm. nicotine and you know caffeine and alcohol. Here's the bad drugs. Yeah, you know, they don't talk about and LSD the... and stuff like that. Well, I think honestly, uh, and that's part of this lobbying. whole 21 year old legalization thing yeah. with cigarettes. I think it was the cigarette companies going, "Hey, all these kids are smoking these vape cigs, yeah. bullshit. Let's make it 21 so they stop fucking doing that and they'll just smoke cigarettes." And they'll you know spend what I mean? Mo- yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a weird one because they got to do something. You know, it's like they work at a company and mm-hmm. you know. Well, it's it was weird when they when like, they made that law, made that a law to be twenty one to smoke cigarettes. I was like, I didn't realize they did it, and I was at Seven Eleven where I go all the time. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. like, asked me for my ID. I was like, you know me. Yeah. She's like, I but I don't know if you're twenty one. So do you get like, like really? an MIP if you're eighteen? Y- no, it's it's my yeah minor in possession of, fucking of cigarettes. Yeah. You can can you believe that like. That's insane. Like I said, I think that cigarette companies being like, hey, kids, stop vaping. Just when you turn 21, smoke our cigarettes. Yeah. Or, or well, I think Great Britain just made menthol cigarettes illegal, too. Why? Just, What's the point? Dude, when you make things illegal, you just want to do it more. <laughs> like, that's yeah. really... Like, when you were 16 and you couldn't drink, and you're like, oh, I'm going to do it anyways. That's how I felt. I don't know. That's what we because it, well, it was if it's bad. It had that you don't want that it. taboo like, effect right. that made you want to go and try it. Yeah. Rather than you well, that's know, why in like Europe they like oh alcohol. I've been doing it since I was six, and <laughs> it's just or, a thing we do. Right. You know. Oh, I have in, a glass of wine at dinner because. That's in one of the countries that you were able to name, Italy, they drink every day all day long, yeah. but they don't drink. They drink a case of beer. Yeah, they they drink they'll drink wine, wine yeah. at lunch. 
at breakfast, at dinner, but they just well, it's it's, it's like the you know, the Crystal Palace. You know, it's like <laughs> I'm not drinking this because I enjoy it. Right. Like this isn't like like wine. Like oh, I'm gonna have some wine all no, day because I, wanna I get enjoy wine. Fucked. No, I need this. Wouldn't that and, be funny uh, if Austin one came? One way or another, I made a decision. I have money and I need this. No, no, I have <laughs> enough money. To yeah. do this, oh, I'd, I could have bought Tito's, guys. I just wanted. Yeah, to but my point Bell's. is, you're, you're, you're looking for the most efficient alcohol yes. for your buck, right? Yeah, is right that now. really That's the most efficient? To get the job done. Is that vodka, sp- bro? No, I'm saying Crystal Palace versus Tito's. Is that the most efficient? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't, it's cheap. It's cheaper. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's cheap, and it's gonna get me to the same exact place that fucking Tito's is. Because I believe you also bought Tostados or Tosti- yeah. Tortitos. Tostitos? Yeah, Tostitos. Tornados? Yeah. So maybe you only had Tokitos? enough. You had enough for one bottle of Tito's. Or you had enough money. for Crystal Palace I, and no, stuff. I literally just money walked was up not the, the issue. You know, I just, just saw Crystal Palace. I'm like, let's get fucked. Let's do this. This is this is the day I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> this is today. Let's get wrecked. I don't know fuck about shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Holy glad cross. you said that, man. Yeah, I didn't make that up. It's from something. Uh, What'd you say? Uh, Ozark. 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 That, that that was it. Yeah, Ozark, which I haven't watched, but I've heard is good. So how do you know the line? I you don't uh, fuck about shit. Some people you're making that shit I know. Up, no, some people that I know told me you don't know shit about shit. A, no, you know it's what? A, it's an inside joke. I'll I'm, just say I that. learned some shit about Max last night. I'm pretty sure your uncle was the guy that got shot down. Which what? Right? Or your great 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 uncle or whatever the the mil- the guy that they oh, Trump sent yeah, a bomb yeah, down. Yeah. It wasn't him, but I've got. He I've, has Iranian ties. I've got. I've Watch got out, ties. FBI. He's yeah. your fucking ink. I have. I have. Oh ties. shit! We got yeah. someone joining. Up. We got. <laughs> you, we gotta oh, watch out, dude. Oh man! I got wow, ties. we got uh, deep there. Yeah. Trump's gonna we're send a missile Max to got this Iranian building. Iranian ties. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, screwed. the shop, huh? What was that? <laughs> right. What uh, was that? What did that used to sounds be? Sounds like a... It's a ISIS. hole in the ground, actually. Right. <laughs> sounds now. like shop. an ISIS hive to me. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a cave. <laughs> yeah. It's a hole in the ground now. It I mean, it to took him so long to find Osama bin, bin Laden. It'll take him even longer to find the shop, so. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, I, even, I put that on the website. Like, the shop is not a place that can be found. That, that yeah, literally, if you pull up the map thing, it just shows Bay City. It doesn't yeah. show the direct location. It'll take yeah. him years. No, they're not. This is... Now, I don't challenge him, but I'm just actually it's, it's, it's a sacred place. It's it pretty. Be, it's it, it's not. You don't right, want everyone right. in here. It's know? funny though because every time we ordered pizza here, the, the same pizza guy would come and be like, "Oh, what <laughs> door do I go into?" Because there's four of them before <laughs> you get to the door you should go to. <laughs> He's calling us and we're it's jamming. Like a we steel don't hear him. Navy door right. too. And like, so there's this pizza guy with pizza, just like, "Oh, did you order pizza? Did you order pizza?" It's like, "No, bro, over here, man." Where all the music's playing. And then eventually in the descriptions for Domino's, just listen for music, loud oh. music, and go to that one. Mm. Yeah. Ordering pizza at the shop. I need some pizza. Yeah. Oh, I've had too much. We had tacos last How long night. have we been rolling? What, what time we got? We got? We've been rolling for 52 minutes. Right Holy now. shit. So we've been just going. It's good. This is good. good. This is going to be the best. Ta- this is, the, this is, b- the this best is by far airing. Setup. That's yep. for sure. You haven't done anything bad. Well, then not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. I, I, <laughs> oh, I can say some fucked up shit, but I won't. Because, well, there was at know. one point in the last one where you just closed your mouth over the microphone, <laughs> had your moment with it. We can only imagine that that'll never air, but we can only imagine what was said in that uh, intimate moment. Well, first of all, the video you're getting very out. much the vanilla shit right yeah. now, yeah. which is which is fine. It's still pretty raunchy though. No, we I mean, can, it's not. Let's th- like it's when we were, when when Cody was talking about this, we're like, you know, if a band comes to Bay City for mm-hmm. any reason, and they're like, you know, I'll go to M Live and talk to the, the newspaper and you know, TV Five or whatever, yeah. that's great. You can come on our show and say fuck, yeah. fucking right. <laughs> Actually, I was going to talk about that too because uh, when we went to what was that uh, radio station we went to in Flint, uh, uh, Banana. No. no. Well, we had a we actually had no, a No, they're there. actually running something pretty similar to what you guys are doing. Um, it's but it's like online basis, yeah. but they still had the rule of no, no fuck, swearing. No. Oh. So they they literally oh. asked us stories that we couldn't go into the great detail of because it's it like was PC. It, yeah, we had to be so PC about it and I was like, shit, dude, you there's can put so a many dildo in the middle of this desk. <laughs> high five it every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time That's someone the show swears we're having a slap. Here. No, I'm just kidding. No, but yeah, it definitely makes a difference when cuz like the the stories we told on that specific show 
they could have been in such greater detail and funnier if we could be truthful with what actually happened. And, you that know, you get some time. And then on top of the time limit, like the time limits sucked. Like uh, at Xena 3, not that they run a bad show, but it's just like they are under like a corporate. Oh, yeah. yeah they, they have to. It's. And it's did you hear now you know? one company owns all the radio stations? Cumulus, baby. No, no. I thought it was Cumulus. Cumulus got... I, Shout out to Cumulus. No, I believe Cumulus got... They'll be dead in I about might, 10 years. I might be wrong. Good luck. <laughs> Why am I going to be dead? Uh, this, Cumulus Radio or whatever the radio station is, is what I'm saying. Oh. Radio's dying. That's oh, yeah, yeah, off. you know, it's dying. And now you hear on radio stations, uh, advertisement for a podcast... Or wherever you get your podcast on K O three, yeah, in the foot. yeah. They're like, oh, we're gonna podcast. we're gonna get a thousand dollars, but I'm also gonna stick this knife in my liver and just slowly <laughs> die. You like that? Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> is it? I mean, really? I mean, where is radio? I mean, well, the, here's the shitty thing. All right, so getting back to music and my lack of knowledge of any of it, right? Mm-hmm. So Neil Peart just died. That oh sucks. yeah, that's I, right. I'm a, I love Rush. You know, <laughs> Neil my dad Pert? is. Huge, I, our family loves Rush. Mm-hmm. I mean, so dude, does they're bubbles. amazing because they're they're just different, right? Will there ever be another Rush? No, where, when no. you have to like There's get no your way. hook in in the first ten seconds so that someone on Spotify doesn't like swipe it? You know what I mean? Like, the, oh, the, are you saying just a band that yeah, large band. again? Well, just a band that yeah, but the that way they got large so was not the same way bands get large. And beautiful now. and uh, well, that, like, that's the point. Like, well, they had they I had. Think, um, I think all that's slowly dying. I, I mean, I, it, I, sucks. I, it's, it sucks, but at the same time, we have such a broader spectrum of music we can listen to. Yeah. I mean, and, and that, I mean, I feel like that also brings out more originality in musicians because you know, yeah, there's more of a fight now. Rather well, to I'm, sound I'm, original versus. I'm more. Right. I'm more of a. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to music, right? <laughs> so I got to go off what do I know, right? mm-hmm. which is what I read in the news and what I hear and whatever. So you know, when I listen to something like Spotify, their business model is is to you know play songs to people, right? Mm-hmm. Songs. Song. So if you you don't want to get swiped, right, like Tinder or something, you want to mm-hmm. you want to hook them quick so that they don't swipe you and they listen to your song and then they follow you or whatever, whatever, yeah. right? you know. So. To do that, you gotta be, you know, you gotta almost be strategic, right? You gotta put all your best stuff in the right front, in the first, the 10, first seconds. ten seconds. So yeah. someone does, but like in in the same time, you're killing your product, right? Because right. is that does that actually belong there, or are you just trying to do that so that you get someone to listen to your music, right? right. So it's like it's you don't want to. Then you have someone like Rush, who's so like beautiful and natural and live and everything else, and it's like, would Rush get swiped? today in this day and age right i swipe them i would you people would swipe what it's like twenty one twelve. it's like what 20 minutes or something like that or they're long songs just like right people would just swipe them and that that would go away and rush would be just another band right when they were rush right. you know and that's I mean, weird <coughs> I, I mean there's always gonna be room for the greats i mean even upcoming greats yeah. but i i don't know i find it more appeasing that I can listen to a band from fucking bumfuck Egypt and then listen to Led Zeppelin. Right. The same. Led Zeppelin over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it is, it's getting, I don't know. I don't know if I would consider it more difficult to make it big now than it was then. I mean, because then you needed a record deal. You needed to get on the radio. Yeah. You needed to do all this shit. Now you can hop on your fucking iPhone, post your shit right. and but everyone can listen to it. I would say it's just as difficult. It's no, it's no change in, Difficulty. It's kind of because there's so many. Yeah, there's you can just post it on YouTube and hope it goes viral. But there's so many people doing that same thing now. So now it's it's almost the same. Now it's just being creative with what you're doing. You got to figure it out. It's it's taken. It used to be that you had the product and the product would sell itself. Now Mm -hmm. there's a lot of products in the marketplace and you got a different. You have to even if the product is amazing. If you're like queen of you know 2020, you still have to figure out a way to get to market that. And then you 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 go and you do your thing. But my thing is, like, that filter to actually get noticed, like, how much of your soul do you have to sell, right. basically, yeah. to get up to that point where you can even be known? I mean, yeah. Well, do you, what are you doing with your, like, do you have plans with your album to find a niche with that? To kind of. Honestly, man, I'm not writing this album to get big. No. And that, that's, I, that's, I get, that's, that's, that's my niche right there. Yeah. This, that, that's what I'm shooting for. Is I'm writing best, this album. Just tell a story. I'm something. writing my damn album. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you like it. And I'll see what I can do from there. I mean, that's, I'm going to hop in my Subaru when it's done. I'm going <laughs> to fucking book some shows and I'm going to go. And that, you, that's all there is to it. I don't 
plan Are you going to book uh, shows before it's done? Start doing some no, shows? No, uh, the plan is probably September to start touring. And I just you on Instagram, you posted uh, that cover of Ain't No Sunshine. Yeah, yeah. It was really good, but I didn't know if you planned on doing, like, shows before to kind of get well, yourself... Well, I got an album release show that I want to do, and then we'll go... But you don't want to do anything before that to get Mm-mm. yourself kind of... No mm-hmm. open mics or anything nope. to get yourself. I'm, I'm building, like we're talking about right now with, with social media and shit. I'm building enough anticipation already mm-hmm. on my social media page that it's yeah. like, what's I, I don't need to go out and 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 do shows yeah. right now. I know. I Give me hook me up with that because I'll put you on the website. Like I got I got um, Joe on there too. I yeah. got like a little page for right. Him. Well, my website there. isn't completely up yet. But. Well, just just whatever the stuff is, you know, yeah. we can at least have a little pre thing. I have Spotify know? link or iTunes yeah. link or whatever. But yeah, I mean, even on my Instagram, I'm and Facebook. I'm just building enough anticipation there that I know that when I go out to play a show, yeah. my first time it's gonna be a packed gig. So I don't hopefully. I, I want to have it all perfectly together before I even think about doing that. Yeah. I, I think all the album. years of playing, merch. too, helped you make those decisions now. Yeah. Oh, of course. It definitely helped. I wish we were more structured. Try not to come things. too early, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, even... I, I, <laughs> yes, exactly. I, I, I learned so much from you guys from, like, just how to position things so that you can do it again and again mm-hmm. like i got a bag now where i bring all the cameras yep. yeah. it's like everything's right there i don't have to worry about it all the like, batteries are charged up i like plan you know it, it's very similar to what i do like professionally yeah. but it's it's you know it's it, it's ingrained in your culture it's just like if you get a yeah. show it's like oh we got to be in chicago we yeah. better bring our shit mm-hmm. because we'll be in chicago and all our shit's gonna be not there so <laughs> right. better yeah. be smart like, and we even the way i i would pack the trailer was based on who would load out first. That makes and sense. Who would yeah. be first on stage because last in, first out. Yeah, and on on the way back, like we just threw shit in there because we're tired. <coughs> we yeah, wanted to get, get back home. But, but but when you're setting up, for when a show, you're headed out there, sense. everything Cody was, was the set logistics up to, specialist. Yeah. <laughs> logistics well, he's running manager. around like putting tags on all the lights, like camera one, yeah, camera two, yeah. light one. Light two. <laughs> it makes it so much fucking easier. Yeah. Did you find the spots on the floor? I did. I actually found the spots again. Okay, good. Well, I think I think we. I moved that one, but yeah, that needed. We moved the desk and we did some stuff, but I did find the original spots okay good yeah totally logistics specialist yeah. i just hate I, but he I wrote on fucking everything yeah it literally <laughs> our soundboard's got <laughs> shit all written on yeah. it it's like dude you could have put a piece of tape up there or something yeah well he learned he put the tape on this piece. <laughs> yeah. yeah i put tape on there oh yeah Uh-oh. the laundry bags <laughs> thank you oh yeah the laundry baskets at home i taped like uh cody's marta's <laughs> <laughs> Cody, the logistics the i just i do it i can't stand it when you're like you walk in and it's just like I like controlled chaos, and that organized, was organized, yeah, organized chaos. Because yeah. mm-hmm. even like uh, uh, going to the shows, the last time we played uh, Bemos, there or when we played to Sarah Shook, there's so many moving parts that that, show, that had to go on. That was one of my favorite shows. That was really yeah, good. actually, I got that poster. I'm gonna frame it. And we're gonna hang it in here. That was Sarah. A, that was a good show. You know. You were touching my leg downstairs. I, I really wish something would have happened with that. And uh, she has a boyfriend now, buddy. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean I can't score. Um, <laughs> babe, I'm looking at you. Um, I've never we'll get, heard that before. We'll get together one of these days. Uh, uh, I'm, well, I'm dropping an album. We'll go on tour together, and we'll make beautiful children. Hey, you know what? We could get her on the podcast, yeah, and then have you come in, and then, and then we'll set up a tour with you casting guys. Casting couch. <laughs> I don't know if you want to say that because she's gonna be like, no, she's not gonna be that. We'll just we'll yeah. She's probably drinking whiskey right now. I need to. No, she's sober. <sighs> she's sober. Sarah. Uh, last I seen on Instagram was like uh, 160 days or 190 days. Good for her. That's like all her. She's good for you, Sarah. I'm disappointed, but good for you, honey. Yeah. Well, she. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was that? She Fucking. Said, she said probably because I, she met you. <laughs> she left the show thing. and said, <laughs> "Shit, I almost made the worst mistake of my life. I gotta clean my shit up, man. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna look like in 20 years. Shit. Actually, she's older. She's than me. older than me. Yeah, but she's I'm 26 and I look like I'm 38. Dude. <laughs> exactly. And she's like 25 and was yeah. like, or 28 and looking like, ugh. I don't want to look like that. Get a beard a, and a really gut. Great show, though. I mean, that was fun. I mean, they were a good time. Yeah, you were just like, yeah, band. this band coming. They, they just, it, all their songs are about, like, what, drinking, drinking whiskey and yeah. cocaine. Yeah, cocaine yeah so how are you going to back that album up now, Sarah? No, it's about her past life now. It's cool. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you yeah, have a twist. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I used to be. Though. I think it's fake. It's not fake. I'm calling you out, Sarah Shook. Ooh. This is a call out from Austin Stone. <laughs> Uh, Sarah Shook, I guess you're going to have to come, come to the back podcast to Bay City. Talk about it. Come back to show. Bay City. This is a, this uh, is a call out. We actually, they were going to come back to Bay City, but we weren't a band anymore, so they didn't. 
Well, well now we have a podcast. Do they have to do with us? Well, uh, Cole talked to them, and they said they liked the setup that was last time and thought it was a really <coughs> good really good chemistry with everything. But Ooh, I, I got to use the... We, we, we didn't get into what you were doing earlier about the, the bucket. The body? Oh, well... Oh, yeah, see, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching issue. having to do it again. Yeah, yeah I so am I. Too. We got well, any plumbers out there? We need a fucking toilet. Eight, yep. <laughs> Um, well, we have a toilet. <laughs> okay, well let's uh, let's wrap it up because we got an hour and four. Oh no, kidding! Sitting here, we holy could, shit. Let's wrap it up and then, but we'll talk about a couple of things that are going on. So, from the sound up, we have Sweet Pea the nineteenth, Doctor Daisy the twenty fifth. Well, these are our interview days. The, yeah, these are our interview so they're probably days. Probably not going to come out those days. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right, right, no, right. I was going to explain that, but I just oh, wanted okay. people Sorry. to anticipate. You know, to you know. we have a lot. Yeah. Well, because well, it's a good point because we've yeah. been talking about this, but we haven't actually done exactly. It. So I want people to know that we're going to actually have. Before we get to the guests, we got the in. we got the long boy box, which oh yeah, I'm the long boy box that. is somewhere. Yep. Yeah, go grab the long boy box. Uh, you can get that for free. Uh, you have to sign up on our website for all you at home. There it is. Long boy box. Yeah, long boy box. Um, we are not affiliated with we Slim no Jim, but our We'd demographic, like our demographic, if we have a circle, it goes like this. Yep. <laughs> I did a lot of research <laughs> and I found like out that yeah. people that would like us People are like music, trashy and stuff white like people. that. <laughs> trashy, <laughs> shitty white. You will I'm love just kidding. Slim Jim. If you no, have I'm a white kidding. beater on right now, <laughs> this is the There's podcast someone for you. Stood up in, out a, of his place <laughs> in a can of <laughs> some bitch. In a can of a uh, green monster. Listen to Eminem. Yep. I love Slim Jim. Uh, anyways, Long you Boy can box. get this Long box. Boy box. Yes. Yep. Long Boy box, which I found online. Well, again, let me take this back. All right. So I did a lot of research and I found out like. Podcast, music, the stuff that we're talking about yeah. overlaps huge with Slim Jims. Again, we have our suspicions, but let's that. just say that people love Slim Jims. I right? mean, I don't, I don't want to say this out loud, but I've only eaten Slim Jims more in my life because this, we've had them here. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I've drum never thing. really. Yeah, we did the drum thing. I ate those two because they were yep. broken in half after I played drums. But no, okay, that's good. So Slim Jim, what we gotta go on the website. Yep. We have, you have to sign up. Uh, there's a link in there. Yep. Uh, go to from the sound up that live. And then uh, you can also see JB Sounds website, soon to be Austin Stone Music I stuff. Think it's the stuff over to me. You can also see all the upcoming guests, Sweet Pea, Dr. Daisy, the Mud Sons aren't up there yet, but they will be. Voodoo Design. Yeah, you want to hit your record again real quick. Oh, yep. Just to Before capture this last thing. And then, um, yeah, Voodoo Design will be on. You can follow all those guys on Instagram. And then, uh, Austin, what do you got? You got nothing coming up, but you're... I ain't got nothing coming up, but keep your eyes and ears peeled. Yeah, definitely go follow as a, at Austin yep. Stone Music. Yep. Instagram. Before we move on that, so we're going to be sending a thing around for the, the long boy box little thing. Okay. So the three steps, just, uh, I don't know, share oh, it's it. A three, yeah, you got to share sh- it, like it, and uh, follow us, okay. and then put your email address, because that's how we're going to, we're going to do it on the show, we'll... Fucking. Yeah, we'll send in an email. Email us too. Yeah, and then uh, we'll pick a winner and then email you, and then we'll announce it on the sh- the next show. So it won't be live, but we'll at least be able to announce it. I there you go. Be a good and way then to do it. We'll, I don't know, and they'll probably yeah. get a T-shirt if if I could find one. Yeah, we got here. there. I got a hoodie, a long sleeve at home, and then Joe has the white long sleeve. Austin has a hoodie or a T-shirt. Fumi has a t-shirt. Shout out to California. Let's hope all those <laughs> California kids start talking about us. And then... Um, so sign up and, sign up and yeah. send an email yeah. and you'll get a long boy box well, uh, well, and a fucking t-shirt. You'll get it. Uh, you'll, yeah. We're overcomplicating things. <laughs> yeah, it's Jesus Christ. And one, so, person's gonna gonna point, win this, one person's going to win this box. You're going to yeah. win a goddamn Somehow. long boy box. And it's and filled a with Slim Jims, and if you like those, that's great, because that means you'll probably like our show. Right, so our demographic here. Enjoy our show. Well, Austin, you... Uh, I think this should be a common thing, though. It's fun talking to you. Oh, we never, yeah, we never really get to sit down and talk about just things going on. Yeah. So, in the case of emergency, someone yeah, we can't do it, I guess. Yeah, I'll be this special little weirdo that no, shows up yeah. from time to time. You'll be I'll make like, sure I have Crystal Palace next time. <laughs> you'll be Crystal the Lake. Artie Lang of the Howard Stern show. <laughs> all right. Yeah, there we go. I tell you, I spent all my money on gambling. I just can't. Four hundred thousand dollars. It's going. All right. Well, from hey, the sound up, guys. That was fun. Thank you, everyone. Boom. All right. Done. Boom. We're out.